guys gonna do a little walk around of my camper um, this is my first time out with her and she's a great one um, I'm really enjoying her um, this is the ePro 17 PR ePro 17 PR is kind of cool because um, it's what they call a hybrid meaning um, the hybrid means that um, it has this pop-out bed in the back that is not like um, it's kind of like a pop-up camper but it's not like a pop-up camper it has um, it's welded to the frame so if you bring someone with you you can come back here unlock it drop it down I'm not using it currently there's a little storage site underneath for I mean it is minimal it really just holds my little crank and a couple tools um, this is um, over here on the side we've got all of our hookups I never like how close they put the water and the electric but um, our city water and our electric are over here if you happen to be at a campground that offers cable it does have the cable hook up here on the side and it's got the outdoor shower funny enough I can't actually get into my outdoor shower because I don't have a key for it that's um, you know my funny of the day at some point I'm gonna have to figure out a key got our low point drains and our sewage on this side as well if you guys are looking for a leveling set I really recommend this Anderson leveler set versus what I had before for Kurt and I always use the um, the Lynx blocks, and you can still use those. But I really like this system. You just kind of roll it up on there. I have a um, a leveler um, inside that's automatic, so it Bluetooth with my phone, and I just kind of roll backwards till it tells me the side that needs to come up is level. So it's really nice that way. Got our fresh water drain um, over here. And then it's got these cool windows. Um, the windows on the ePro are rollout windows, so they're all flat one piece, and from inside they're uh, twist out, and so that one's really good. Some storage over here. The storage in this is pretty minimal, I'm gonna say that. I mean, you, you should really plan to have better um, storage plans for the back of your vehicle, your tow vehicle. Um, there's really not enough space in here to do much with. Like in this one, I had my water stuff in a bag and my electric stuff in a bag, and there's a little bit of space on top of that. And then I've got um, an equal amount on the other side. On the front here, you can see um, it comes standard with the, it's got the double batteries um, over here. So I've got double batteries at the back and two tanks. And then I've got the cool jack jacket system. The jacket system is pretty neat. Um, it came on this one, but it is like, I think a, an optional accessory, but it's got this cool bike rack. I did not bring my bike this time, but there's also some different accessories for the jacket. Like, um, you can put a, a tabletop on there if you want to put, put a toolbox up there. Um, and then it's got a full size canopy that comes out. It's really neat. And then I got some more storage over here. It's got the really nice steps too. Uh, it doesn't have the, the junky pull out steps. And then there's a storage for my sewage hose under there. And um, it's got an automatic LP connect and a table that I can put my um, camp stove on. It does come with a camp stove. I actually have a black stove and you can buy a um, quick connect set to make it work with the black stone instead of using the little bottles if you wish. So here we are inside of the ePro and um, it's actually really spacious for tiny camper. I think the reason I chose it and my favorite thing about it is how much storage it has. Um, I'm packing and I'm not even like close to full and I packed you know a lot of stuff from the old camper so I've got all the storage up here on top and it actually goes a fair distance in on both sides you can't see that but I mean it's not full and then this is where that bed lays out but honestly with it not laid out I have all this extra space in here where I can store things and um, like the dog's life vest is back there and then um, up here you know we've got a fair amount of storage I'm using this for like all the little extra things DVD player parts and pieces tools things I need to have and then this area is going to be my wardrobe, which currently, you know, I only have like three days worth of clothes, so I don't have much in there. But I think I'm going to put in a shelving system. Um, I saw a neat one where people just took um, a couple sections of one by four and put some shelving pegs in there and dropped some shelves. And then I'm going to use these standard baskets for that. Um, there is a little door here that goes to that little back um, storage compartment I was showing you guys. And then when you're looking at the kitchen here, um, it's got some pretty good sized drawers for our kitchen storage. Like this is um, all my top of the range storage, all this stuff normally it lives in there, as well as all of my bags and stuff like that. Um, it does have a stove top. It does not have a stove, but I don't really use a stove. If you use a stove, this is not the one for you. It does have a microwave. Um, this little compartment that I think is just junk <laughs> and then these two drawers you know one I've got all my pots and pans and cutting boards and things stored in and this one is the one that I use for my dishware forks and knives cups things like that um, all my food oh, I store up here in these compartments um, I really just have it broken out into little baskets um, not all my food though just some of my food it's crazy to me because this is plenty of storage space for me for food for up to a week but then I also have this big 
compartment over here and it's not it's not a game people like I can fit my whole arm in there it's deep so it's a lot of storage I've got um, some of my other cooking appliances in there like my instant pot I've got all my cleaning goods and things like that and then I keep all the dog storage stuff down underneath and there's another cabinet down there and down there as well there's just so much storage in the ePro um, and then of course I've got the storage here with the bed so there's two storage compartments on either side of the bed I'm really just using those for like laptop and yarn and stuff like that because I don't really need the space currently for my clothes um, when I decide to travel full-time I might use it for my clothes this bed is the bed I used to sleep. Um, this couch here is a jackknife couch, so you can pull it out and turn it into a bed. But it does have the Murphy bed that drops down over it. So at night, I pull that down, snap it in, sleep on it, and then during the day, I put it up. It's a really easy in and out. Um, it does take up space out to like about where the foot of my little table there is, but it's still a really comfortable fit. I can get in and out of the door really easily, even with the bed down. Um, the ePro 17 does have a full-size bathroom. Um, so I've got, you know, my toilet, it's got a lot, again, a lot of storage here under the sink on top here and up top is just filled with extra storage bins because I thought I was going to need a lot of storage options, but there's so much storage that I don't know what to do with all of it. There's a lot. Um, I have my full shower. Um, I'm currently storing my dirty laundry in there, but you know, it's got a full size shower. It might not be the most comfortable fit for a bigger person, but it works really nicely just for me. Um, it does have, uh, it is set up for solar. I don't have solar set up on mine, but it is wired for it if you want to add it. And then this is my Emerson heat. Um, the heat here runs off of um, propane. I generally just bring a little electric heater and plug it in. We'll see when it gets cold and I start doing our first set of camping trips. And then the air unit, which I was a little, because this is the middle of summer and it is hot, hot, hot. And yesterday it was 98 degrees with a heat index of 104 and this thing kept it nice and cool inside the ePro. I didn't get hot at all. In fact, I got cold and had to go sit outside, which is what I'm doing today as well. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, what's on in black tanks, water, Furion system. So I haven't figured out all of the Furion system. So it's got the Furion TV and it's got this Furion stereo system, which I know from our previous camper can play inside and outside, but I don't know how to hook it all up. I plugged in my Roku and it immediately fired right up. I'm at Drear Island State Park for my shakedown trip in this camper and they've got great service out here for T-Mobile, which is what I have. So I'm streaming very nicely um, to Netflix on my Roku, but it looks like I could, the only thing I want to figure out, and you know, you guys hit me in the comments if you know what to do with it. Um, I would love to have it where the sound goes to the speakers above my bed because with the air conditioner on, I have to crank up the volume pretty loud inside the camper to get good volume and be able to see, um, see, to be able to hear. And um, I know there's a way to do it. I got in some online forums, but I had mixed, mixed signals on what and how. So i um, not really sure if I can figure that part out or not. We're gonna figure it out, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think of what, there's more storage underneath the jackknife. So if I'm not gonna lift it up, but when I lift it up, um, I've got a camp stove and Blackstone equipment and flagpole. And there's still like way more storage under there that I could put more under there. It doesn't have a table or a dinette in this. So I just had this at home. It's a little fold up table. It goes up and down. And I have it raised to a point where when the bed's down, it can sit over the bed like a night table. Even though I've got these side areas, they're kind of inconvenient the way they're shaped. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those to be honest, um, but this thing works great. And then for the sofa, it just sits up and down. So I'm using that as kind of my dinette area. I had to buy the tiniest little trash can ever to um, fit in here and make things work but it works nicely and you know I feel comfortable I have plenty of space to relax I had um, over the other night just to do a walk through with me and um, one of them is a pretty big guy and his wife and my grandson and we all managed to sit in there and chat comfortably for a little while so if you're looking for a great little camper um, I don't think they make this one anymore but they make some similar models and I'm out enjoying the shakedown in my um, e-pro and I'm looking forward to many years of travel in her across the country.